Basecamp tutorial, how to use Basecamp project management. Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, I'll show you guys how you can use Basecamp. Now Basecamp is a really simple and easy project manager which can help you save a lot of time and money instead of having to use multiple different applications like Slack, ClickUp, Airtable. You can use Basecamp as a all-in-one solution. So to get started with Basecamp, simply head on over to Basecamp.com and click on Pricing plus Sign Up on the top right. From here, you're going to choose your plan. Basecamp starts at $15 per user per month for their Basecamp normal version. Then they also have the Basecamp Pro Unlimited, which is going to allow you unlimited users just at $2.99 a month, and that is billed annually. Now, a lot of people say, why would I pay $300 for a tool like that? Well, one thing to note is that let's say you have 10 employees and you're paying $15 for each employee to use Basecamp. You're going to be spending around $150. And if you are a larger business or a larger enterprise, you're definitely going to have more than 10 employees. You might have 10, 20, 30 employees. So if you have a lot of employees, Basecamp Pro is going to make a lot of sense for you because you would be paying that $300 anyway. So you might upgrade to the more premium features. Now to get started, you can get a 30 day free trial of any of these uh, plans and you can just click on try it for free on the top right. Once you do that, you're going to type in your name, your email address, like so, and then you're going to type in your organization's name. So let's say it's called Vinnie Poodle. And then after that, you're going to pick out a suitable password. Okay, so we're going to make this 12 characters long. And now once we have completed our basic sign up, we can proceed. Now, when you're on your trial period on Basecamp, you don't need to actually add in any of your credit info. You can get a free trial. So we're just going to jump right in. And this is what our dashboard is going to look like. So once you log in and you're logged into your standard dashboard, you're going to see a control panel on the top. This control panel has your home section, then your lineup section, which is basically a timeline view, which allows you to see all of your tasks and projects. Then you also have pings, which are your chat messages. Then you have a hey section, which just allows you to view all of your notifications, then activity, and then your my stuff section. So we're going to click on home and click on make a new project and we can make our first project. So we're going to make this our Vinny project and we can also click on create a project template and we can create a project template if you're going to be following, you know, the same type of template over and over again. But we're just going to make a basic one and let's say this is going to be plans and schedule for Vinny. And then after that, we're going to add the schedule. So we can choose a start date and a finish date for our project. Let's say it's this, or let's say it's longer than this. And then after that, we can also choose our tools. So what type of tools would you be needing? Would you need a message board? Would you need a to-do list, docs and files, chat and schedules, card tables? I love card tables, so I'm gonna turn that on. And then you can also choose who's on the project. So you can create a invite only project. Now we're just going to click on create project and it's time to start building every individual section. So on top, you're going to find a message board. This is going to work as your Slack or Discord for your business or project. Then you have your to do's, which allow you to set up different tasks across all types of teams to make sure that your tasks are done. Simply click on new list and you can name a particular list. So let's say this is going to be our brand development like this. And then we can also add brand logo development. And then we can add, you know, more details. And then we can just click on add to list. And then once you do that, you can also assign this to a particular person. I'm gonna assign this to myself. You can also uh, type in the people that are meant to be notified once a task is marked completed. 
you can also choose a particular due date and if this runs on multiple days so if it's a task that is going to you know be worked on consecutively i'm gonna just set one particular due date and you can choose whether a task is a recurring task so things like your weekly meetings or your monthly meetings those are recurring tasks that you can time block with basecamp now i'm going to describe this to do so this is going to be create a logo with brand ideation like so and then i'm just going to click on save and just like that this has been saved now i can go back into my home section and we're going to go back into our project and you will see our vinnie project has our first task and if we check this task out you can just see that it will be checked out and this list will be completed now, one individual list can have multiple to-dos. So let's say for our logo development, I have favicon development. And let's say we also want to create banners for in-store placement. And whatever type of tasks you have, you can, you know, add them into one particular list. And if the other task I have maybe is to design product and that's going to be a completely different category so i can click on new list and i can build a new list which might be inventory management like this and then i can add you know all the tasks that are related to inventory management in this particular list now going back into our project once you start adding content you will see a completion needle and you can move the needle as well so you can move whether you're on track if there's some risk or if you're concerned about the progress of your task so i'm going to proceed with the next section which is going to be our card table we're going to go into our card table and in that you can click on add card now one thing to note is that your cards are different from your lists. So your card table is not going to be a direct view of your tasks or of your lists. It is going to be different and you can create your own columns. You can create your own to do's within the cards. Now, a lot of people might wonder what's the purpose of a card table when you have a task manager. Well, when you have a card table, you can add things like your recurring tasks or tasks that are meant to be completed, but are a group effort are tasks that are going to require some amount of hours, billable hours. So instead of it just being a short term task, it might have to do with the long term health and well-being of your project. So in the long term, let's say for my Vivian project, I have to launch our online store so obviously this is going to have multiple different you know tasks related to that but i can just add this into our triage and then we're going to add figuring it out and then once the processes to launch our online store have been started i can add this into the in progress section and then i can mark it done on the right and just like that you can manage your project on basecamp Additionally, you also have a docs and file sections to add all types of spreadsheets, images, other files that your team might need access to, and a message board for announcements and a chat to make sure that your team can stay in touch. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe.